Okay, the question is, how do I bring one of these pictures into Adobe Illustrator and convert them into a vector artwork? How do you do that? Well, first off, what I'm going to start off, I'm just going to pick a random image here. We'll just go with this one. Um, let's actually open that up. And here's the picture I'm going to use. I'm choosing it because it is a nice high-res photo, and it all it should... Um, I guess transcribe itself in the vector data a lot better than picking a low res image. So there's a reason why I'm picking up a bigger photo here. So save image, blah, 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 there it goes. And here's, here's that image. And bring it into Photoshop. And I'll just take my pen tool and I'll draw a mask. Okay, I have the mask created. I'll select the whole thing just to make sure that I have the right exclude overlapping shape. That's good, so that's correct. In my paths palette, I'll just command click on that so it's active. And pretty much what, uh oh, I'm gonna do this. What I'm gonna do here is just clone this layer and put a mask on it. So, there's our, my kind of sloppy job of cutting out the frog. I missed a foot, but whatever, this is a demo. From here, import this in. Crop that down a little. Save as, oh, you were saying TIFF, so we'll go with TIFF. Blue frog TIFF. And I don't need any layers, so... Save that to the desktop. This doesn't matter. And let's create a new document. Place the picture we just made, which is that TIFF. And it works a lot better when you isolate uh, whatever it is that you're trying to trace. You can make the canvas a little bigger. And we're going to go to Object, Live Trace, and I'll start with Tracing Options. And it gives me this message, this is going to take a long time to do this. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to say yes. And there is a ton of color in here. Let me move this off to the side and do that again. So Live Trace, Tracing Options. The minute I hit the Preview button, it it pretty much does what Streamline used to do. But in your case, you want to use color, so we're going to have color. Preview it. It's going to take a little longer, maybe not. And there's the vector image. And you can obviously go around and mess with the colors and all these other stuff to, to get it to your liking. But for sake of example, how do you convert a TIFF or a JPEG or a PNG to vector? There you go. Next thing I want to do is expand. Because right now when you select it, you're selecting the whole thing. You, you just want just the frog. So if I expand this, object and fill, that's under object, expand. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so that worked. And there's our vector frog. With tons and tons of tiny little shards of colors. But that's how you do that, and you're done.